I've been in Kuching for almost six years, and I think that it's time for me to go somewhere else. I did encounter a lot, especially when I deal with my parents or even relatives. Yes, they would ask me, why do you want to come back to Sarawak? Not much opportunity in Kuching, Sarawak. My music or this industry, world music, is very niche. So to find the correct support system or ecosystem that would um, push me to go further is very difficult over here. I completed all my trainings after 17 years in Australia. And when my son's still small, uh, I discussed with my wife, if we don't come back to Sarawak, we will never ever come back. I find the job opportunity in Sarawak is quite low as the firm are quite little here. Sarawak has less robotics in our industry in terms of heavy industry, in terms of light industry and service industry. The world music industry is very niche, very small market globally and it's very necessary for us to have managers, agents who are focused on world music and that's what we don't have here which is a big challenge. Heart Centre in Sarawak, it took us 10 years to be internationally famous. Once you reach that level, the world will come to see you, the world will come to invite you, even in your jungle of Borneo. Eventually one day, I received a call from someone uh, stating that uh, there are opportunities in Sarawak dealing with robotics, even digital economy. So that's how I ended up my cousin who's living in the US, she sent me a message saying that she just heard me talking on NPR music. And I was talking about the Kalabit Pagang, like it's a Kalabit instrument on NPR radio. And for me, I was like, whoa, our music is getting across um, the oceans to the US and, you know, to an international radio station. So I'm very blessed. We've got many talents in all the fields that are overseas. And uh, I urge them to come back, to have a look, to convince themselves that, yes, the starting may not be easy, but we got the potential and we got the opportunity to do something uh, for Sarawak. For me, the technology that we have now, I wouldn't say it's the best, but uh, there's always the room for improvement. I think we are ready to serve the populations in Sarawak, of course. The support that we need from the local government is to create a, a real ecosystem for musicians and artists to thrive here. Um, I mean, one of the best things that we have is the Rainforest World Music Festival, and that is great. I would love to come back to the land where I was born with, and I would love to contribute my ideas and what I've learned over there. And I want to see changes in Sarawak from what I've gathered. I feel quite happy that uh, I can stay in Ching and in Sarawak because there are many reasons uh, because uh, my family is here and I also can still do the things that I like, like robotics industry. I'm very proud to be Sarawakian. I always say that everything I do is for Sarawak. One of a kind, out of this world. I think the people are so lovely, so, so lovely. You know, you can meet a Sarawakian anywhere in the world and immediately connect. I think although some people talk in terms of what we lose, what we gain by being part of Malaysia, in actual fact, is that that's not the right way to look at the development. The development was how much do we have room to develop and how much can we gain by being part of a bigger economic unit. Hand in hand, let us shape Sarawakian future.